right. Oh, here is the, uh, the famous Diallo. The famous Diallo, <laughs> and that's my number 116. I think I actually also have number 141, but of course I'm gonna put my, my original award in the showcase. Yeah. But yeah, this is just a really special moment. Um, there's only 284 of them. There can only be 284 throwdown sets ever. Sets. Yeah. And it's because of this moment, because it had the low completion percentage. I'm actually a Piston fan too. I mean, I grew up. Oh yeah, um, that's awesome, um, yeah. You yeah. know, followed Isaiah Thomas, I have a ton of his old cards. He was my favorite yeah. player and I love the bad boys and the 04 championship team. And so, you know, Diallo's a fun player and seeing him on the Pistons is is great. So he just re-signed today too, it looked like, two year deal. He, he's gonna have a really good impact for uh, for Detroit, I think, because yeah. the fact that he's, he's gonna get some, yeah. Oh, Afro Simons, this is a good one too, right? It talks to me about yeah. Afro. He's got mad bunnies too. Yeah, it's just, you know, a nice breakaway dunk. Um, and he's just, I mean, all, I think, you know, they picked all the slam dunk champions from, mm -hmm. from dunk contests. And, you know, this day and age, a lot of them aren't superstars, or at least not superstars yet, but that's still yeah. a pretty cool accomplishment to win a dunk contest. And, and uh, I, I like that Top Shot chose kind of a theme with their rewards for this set. I, I almost forgot about that, that they actually chose like most players that actually, you know, won the, the, as a reward, the champ, slam dunk champ. And I think right? Simons was the winner of last year's dunk contest. Yeah. So, a, and of course, cool. Zach Levine, right? Yeah, that, yeah, Zach Levine. This is the one where people kind of woke up to this challenge and it, you know, it had over 500 completions. A lot of people were looking forward to it. Yeah. And, uh, and it's a great dunk too. I mean, Levine, I think he was a two-time dunk champion, right? Yes. Yes. So. And he just probably had one of the best dunk uh, contests with uh, Aaron Gordon too, right? Right, yeah. Oh, this was a good one. The Donovan Mitchell quest, right? Talk to me about this one. <laughs> yeah, well, I, this, you know, this was just a moment I, I love because I waited so long for it. The whole Wolf Pack did. I mean, we were sending mm -hmm. tweets and talking about this for like a full month because when they made the set, they made 51 moments. Um, but, you know, you do nine per challenge with five rewards gives you 50. So we knew there'd be one extra and yeah. no one knew how you'd get it. And, yeah. you know, there was just a big mystery around it. And then finally, the day they announced it, I had to hop on the marketplace real quick because I didn't have a rare Donovan Mitchell and I bought an all-star game moment. You yeah. know, it paid more than I wish I had to, but I, I know there's nothing that's going to stop me from doing this this quest yeah. after I'd done all the challenges. So, and I still have that Mitchell too. So now I have two Mitchell rares, which is- That's good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Ah. Oh, this is a good one. Kenyon Martin Sr. Uh, Jr. Uh, let's check this one out, right? This is one of the rarest rookie uh, rare. Oh. Yeah, it's the rarest uh, Series 2 rookie debut moment. Jeez. Um, and it's, and he's got such a high ceiling, I think. Yeah. I mean, Right on John Collins too, and everybody knows John Collins has hops, man. <laughs> well, there's a lot of John Collins moments where he's dunking on other people. Yeah, so. there guys, yeah. <laughs> oh, this John Morant one. I, uh, I've only seen the one in his Hustle and Show. I've actually never seen this one yet. Yeah, it's it's a <laughs> nice alley oop. It's one of <laughs> at least three. Uh, yeah, one of at least three alley oops that Jaw has on Top Shot. His Hustle yeah. and Show reward, and then. Uh, um, his all-star game one was the, or I mean, the playoff one was a reverse alley-oop, and then this one yeah. was... Yeah, this one was nice. He looks like he's floating in that dunk, right? Yeah. Jeez. All right, we got two more. We got Anthony Edwards. Oh, uh, this one, I think I've seen once. Let's see. He's got yeah. that hezzy under his game. Right? Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, I oh. wish I had the rising star, Anthony Edwards, but this one's really yeah. good. Too. He's just a pretty special young player, especially with, you know, his ability to Man. dunk. Anybody. That was one of my holy grail moments. I just never got into yeah. the price that I wanted it to. And it was getting close and then the bull happened, the bull run happens, and yeah, then right. it's back up to like... <laughs> uh, oh, Russell Westbrook, this is a beauty. I remember this one on Biombo, right? Right, yeah, and I, I didn't know if I wanted to put this Jeez. one in the showcase or Miles Bridges, because they're both really impressive. Yeah. But, you know, Westbrook, Jeez. he had a heck of a season, and this is an amazing dunk. I mean, just... Man, people are forgetting that like Westbrook had been like a couple of injuries, like with knee injuries, mm -hmm. and he still came back and still was able to do this kind of dunks. Like that's just insane, right. you know? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, like you know, we're almost out of time, but I wanted to ask this question to you, Chris, uh, to sure. to finish it off. Talk to me about your holy grail moment in Top Shot. But well, while we're at here right now, I'm here at the marketplace. Let's go through your favorite or like, you know, your holy grail moment that you, you're either flipping to get into or your hope 
one day you can flip into or, or at point save up enough to get one. <laughs> well, you know, right now I'm I'd love to get a LeBron debut. I mean, that's just you know, he's the he's he's the best player out there. I mean, aside from maybe Jordan, but uh, mm -hmm. as far as people with moments on top shot, he's the best. And uh, so I'm right now my strategy is just get some trade tickets, try to get one of these reserve packs, and go back that's what really I'm lucky because I don't. That's think I'll be been my one. strategy. Like I've been literally I'd love to have that. collecting yeah. all of the uh, Raptors. Um, so I have the Raptors uh, completion. So mm -hmm. I've been collecting all of the low-end Raptors, um, 440 CCs, and then I'm just using them for collector score. And then until like we get the three tickets, I'm like, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> I got all my trade tickets right here, and hoping yeah. like we'll get one or something, you know. <laughs> and for people that don't oh, know, this is the uh, Top Shot debut of LeBron. This was hovering around a point like six thousand, five thousand dollars, right? Yeah, that would have been my chance, right? But look where it's at now. <laughs> I know. I've been, yeah, this is one of the Holy Grail moments in Top Shot for people who don't know. And this was LeBron James Top Shot debut. There's only a thousand of them. That's how people, you know, people think that's a lot, but that's very little in, in, in the context of how many user base are, are really they're targeting into. Right. I believe only four or five hundred are actually out in circulation now. So there'll be some in those reserve packs that should come out with the trade Ooh. tickets later this summer, probably. Yeah. I think it's time that I should collect, start collecting more. Uh, <laughs> Start collecting more of these uh, trade tickets. <laughs> right, yeah, it's time because they'll probably be moving soon once they announce it. Yeah, this is a great moment. Like this is one of my holy grail too. Uh, yeah, we're out of time, yeah, Chris. <laughs> but I wanted to say thank you for coming through and sharing your collection and your story about Top Shot as well as the oh, wall yeah, pack. And before we kind of end through the uh, the episode, uh, any last words you want to give out? A shout out you want to give maybe to friends, family, the wolf pack. You know, they want to hear maybe. <laughs> Yeah, just to the Wolf Pack. I mean, it's it's been such a fun time collecting with those guys, um, collecting throwdowns, uh, talking about you know what's going on in the NBA. The other day, you know, Top Shot wasn't even they didn't have any quests up and not much going on. We went and minted these pineapples together, some different <laughs> NFT project. People who weren't even into them decided, yeah, I'll get a pineapple. It'll be fun, you know. <laughs> so we just it's, we just have a good time almost you know every day together. So I just you know a shout out to those guys. Yeah, that's good to hear. That's one of my favorite thing about Top Shot is the community and how we all discovered our own community and little niches here and there and mm -hmm. form a bond from collecting moments together. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It makes Top Shot so much more fun when you're doing it with other other people and making friends through it. So. Totally agree. Um, and, and where can they find the wall pack chat or what can they find for collectors out there that are looking to collect in the throwdown set and be part of the wall pack? Where can they find you guys? Um, well, my, my Twitter is 1CVJ, O-N-E-C-V-J. And then, you know, some of the other people who are in it, you may, you know, Veerman at Veerman's, uh, one of our um, Wolfpack members is probably most famous and most well known. Um, but yeah, there's, you'll you'll find us just from the Wolf GIFs. If you post, we right now we've been doing that whenever we see a Diallo sell on that new Top Shop bot, you know, you'll see Wolves showing up there and just kind of <laughs> celebrating the sale and that someone, someone bought one, you know, because it's a fun moment that deserves to be celebrated, I think. That's awesome. And for all our fans and audiences out there, keep, if you are interested in collecting Top Shot and this is a fun community, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And other than that, guys, stay ballin'.